In this video, I'll be going through my process of bracing the back of my uh, acoustic guitar. Uh, originally, I was going to go ahead and include actually shaping and uh, voicing the back braces, but then it became a little bit too lengthy. It came out to like almost an hour or something of video uh, before I edited it. So that's going to be in another video. <laughs> I started by joining the back uh, in this picture right here. It shows some purfling, but I didn't end up using the purfling. I just opted to go with a simple just maple uh, just to make it easier for my first build. After the back was joined and uh, all dried, I used my uh, homemade uh, thickness uh, caliper thing and uh, took it down to, uh, I believe it was around maybe two millimeters. Um, sanded, scraped, uh, cut it out roughly to the to the shape of the guitar and it came out really really nice I'm about to cut the brace wood for the top and back I got a piece of quarter sawn Engelmann spruce well as you can tell it's not exactly quarter sawn so what I did is um I planed it down to uh, to one of the, the actual grain lines in that direction. What I think I'll end up doing is I straightened out a board, just a regular scrap board out of pine. I'm going to glue it like that. So now I have a flat edge to reference against, a square edge to reference against the table saw. And I'll make rip cuts that will be parallel to the, to the grain lines to make this perfectly coarse on. Alright, I'm going to begin pre-shaping braces. I uh, put the template on, put out all the different braces, and I'm going to cut them out and just pre-radius them to the 15 foot radius over the back. Using a Japanese hand plane. Getting pretty close. Short square. I got it on the my uh, radius dish, 15 foot radius dish. Now I'm gonna. It's in the approximate location where the braces will be, and I'm gonna put the final sand in profile and making sure that it's uh, square to the table. Start with a lid. Quite a bit of rocking. Not really true. Well, I just discovered a better method. Placing it up against the block, nice and flat, using finger pressure to push down a little bit on that piece while holding the block. I'm 
much cleaner, faster too. So this is my version of the Go Bar deck. I made it out of uh, some 2x4s that I ripped in half. Um, just made it based on the dimensions, the length of the, the actual fiberglass rods that I had and uh, some sheathings for the roof. Uh, the sheathing actually was really, really cool because it had a rough side, which uh, gave the fiberglass rods a little bit more um, friction so it won't slip out and shoot you in the eyeball. All right, get ready to glue it up. Uh, it's in my 15-foot radius dish. Got all the parts marked out. Let's start with this number one brace. So this is a little glue cleanup trick that I got from uh, watching some videos from Blues Creek Guitars. Um, it looked really cool and then in actual practice uh, it just seemed to smear the glue all over the damn place. So uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I found it just much easier if you just would uh, uh, wait for it to dry for like 15-20 minutes when it gets nice and leathery. You can go in with like a, a real real sharp chisel and just press it up against the, the braces. And you can really get it nice and clean if you just take your time and just uh, use a real, real sharp chisel. It comes out nice and clean. And sorry about the background music here. Um, it's my kids' children's songs that they listen to when they, uh, they're they taking a nap midday. Um, honestly, when I was working on this, I didn't even hear it. I was kind of zoned zoned out and just just uh, not even thinking about uh, what was playing in the background. I guess so focused on getting every little piece all nice and pretty.
so as I got as you see right there the, one of the rods popped loose and that wasn't due to it slipping it was um, because it was in the center of the radius dish of the 15 foot radius dish and that seems to be the lowest point um, on the dish so once all the other rods are are in place it forced everything down no, and short. that rod just ended up popping out all right it's been dry for a little bit now i'm going to glue on the center strip I've got all the pieces cut or cut to length and we're gonna glue and try to do this neat as possible Nicole's. A serious amount of tension. Forgot my goggles. All right. Come on.
think I'm gonna hold off gluing this last piece where the neck block is. That way I can kind of fit it to the neck block perfectly. So I'm gonna leave it just like that. That's it. So after all the the little rods were in, I left it in the go bar deck overnight to to cure. All right, I'm uh, getting ready to trace the braces. Uh, I've got two little blocks on the end, a little spacer block in the middle. I'm just gonna use a flexible ruler. Let's see how this goes. And that's kind of the shape I want. Up there's another trace. This trace. Mm. A little bit more dipped in the middle. Okay. We'll see. Alright. Make sure my blocks are in. Okay, go. Just one clean line. Oh, faster. Sweet. All right. Okay. Next one. What? Oops, sorry. Easy if you trace from the other way in. Okay. Wow, this one's really proud. Go. This middle one looks like so high. <laughs> Let me see if I can get in and over. Because up there is like it's that's tighter. tighter. That's why it's yeah. tighter. Do it again. That's the curve. All right. So now I'm gonna start removing material. So here's the back with all the braces and the center strip glued in place and marked out for shaping. I'll be shaping the braces in the next video.